What's up guys, Chandler here with Rise Magic and today I'm gonna to teach you a magic trick, but first I'm gonna show it to my roommate Alex so you guys can see how I perform it live in the flesh. Amazing. Now Alex, you know that I can do lots of cool things with cards. Lots yes. of lots of sleight of hand, right? Yes. But I wanna show you a trick that takes the cards out of my hands and shows you what I can do with my mind. Okay. Okay? I'm ready. So all you're gonna do, you can see that all the cards are different, right? Yes. I'm gonna have you select any card you wish. Okay. Let me go this that way. You sure you want that card? Yes. All right, place it in the middle of the deck. Now from here, I don't wanna to touch the deck. You take the deck, I want you to give it one good strong riffle shuffle. I know you know how to do that, right? Yes. Here we go. Try that, that is impressive right there. Now, just like they do in a poker game, give the deck one clean cut, just to make sure that the deck is completely mixed up. All right, now what I'm gonna try and do here, you only have a test like the next day, and you really need to cram yeah. a lot of information to your memory. What I'm gonna attempt to do is memorize the entire deck in under 30 seconds. Okay. Watch, we'll spread it out right before us. Cool. You ready? I'm ready. Start the timer now. I'm gonna go behind the couch. I want you to take your card out and okay. put it somewhere else in the order, but don't, you know, make it obvious. You know, just make it look yeah, normal yeah, yeah. once again. You're just gonna take your card out and replace the order, and then I'm gonna see if it, uh, you know, jumbles, jogs my memory here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. There you go. You just, are you ready now? Oh uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to make it look like. Trying to make it sure it doesn't look. <laughs> I get it. Here we go. Good. Not yet. Hang on. Try not to make it. This memory is only stored in the short term. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my gosh, these are so slippery. This is such a nice deck. Shout out to Gemini Decks, available on rise-magic.com/store. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cram. Cram for the test. All right, so I remember these two twos next to each other and these two sixes. I think this, this is good. Your card was in there, right? Okay. Um, not in there, correct? This, this isn't sleight of hand, it was, this, this is just memorization. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's one of these four cards, correct? That is correct. Okay. See, the hard part's the, the, the suit, not the numbers. Nine of clubs? Yep, that's the one. Woo! <laughs> and I just got out of school too. Good job. Thank you, That's Alex. impressive. We're gonna change this video title to How White People React to Magic. <laughs> oh, so good. Good job, guys. Great, Great job. job. <laughs> no, man. I actually really thought I had that wrong. No joke. I could, I could flip the table if you want. Do you wanna learn how it's done? I would love to learn, yes. <laughs> Perfect, guys, stay tuned. We'll learn it right after this message from our sponsors. Back in the studio. Fun fact, I'm way too tall for this tripod when I stand up straight. So every time you see me in these videos, I'm getting this like, nice like half squat. I'll show you how it looks. It's like. <sighs> What's great about this magic trick that you're about to learn is that it's completely impromptu. It can be done with any deck of cards on the face of planet Earth. If you're at a party, you're at a friend's house, they just hand you a deck of cards that isn't, you know, some awesome deck that you own. 
you're still gonna be able to do the trick. You're still gonna be able to look real cool, be the life of the party. Now, obviously for this trick, you're not Rain Man here. You're not memorizing the entire deck of playing cards, but you do need to do just a, just a tad bit of memorization. I'll break it down for you right now. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, these are the Malibu V2s by Gemini Decks. They're available, of course, on rise-magic.com forward slash store. But without further ado, let's get into the trick. There are a few things you need to memorize for this trick. Really, by a few, I mean two. You need to memorize the bottom and the top card. Okay? Now, these cards can truly be any cards. It doesn't matter. You just have to know what they are. So we have the five of hearts and seven of spades. If you're a little concerned about your ability to memorize two cards, just make that top and bottom cards like a noticeable card. Like let's say the two jacks. So you got the jack of spades and the jack of clubs on the top and bottom. Like I said, it doesn't matter what the cards are, but if that helps you memorize, it helps you memorize. Now, I take the opportunity when I'm performing the trick to memorize the top and bottom cards when I'm showing the spectator that it's a normal deck of cards, right? So I'm like, hey guys, look, you know, it's a normal deck of cards, it's not gonna use any sleight of hand. And I use that opportunity to memorize the top and bottom. From here, the spectator picks a card, okay? For the instance of teaching, we're gonna show you the card. It's the king of spades, okay? So they have the king of spades, well, uh, I don't know. This'll work, this'll work. They could pick any card, let's say, they pick this one, the Queen of Diamonds, okay? You obviously don't know what the card is. They take it, they look at it, you're like, all right, memorize it. My wonderful office chair is the spectator who is holding it. From here, all you have to do is a swing cut. You don't have to do a swing cut, really. You just have to separate the top and bottom of the deck. I like to do a swing cut. You lift up your pointer finger, break off the top half. Take that top half, bring it to the bottom. And then our position to put the card in the middle in the sandwich. You can see me do it here in the performance like this. Very casual, offbeat moment. No one thinks anything of it. Then the spectator returns the card to the middle. Bam, cards in the middle. Now what's great about this, this is your setup. You don't know what the card is and you don't get to see this, but when you go to the deck, their card, the queen of diamonds is sandwiched between the top and bottom card, in this case, the two jacks, okay? From here, because it's sandwiched by two cards, you have the freedom and ability to let them shuffle the deck. And when I say shuffle, I mean a true riffle shuffle like you saw me do in the performance. They can take the deck and give it a clean riffle shuffle. Now, is this gonna mess up the order? Yes, but not that much. Cause see, if we check, we have the one jack here and the other jack here, right? with one, two, three, four cards between them. From here, you can give the deck a cut, and then that's when you're going to go look and quote unquote, memorize the deck. Now, as you see here, if you didn't know the card was the Queen of Diamonds, you have to memorize four cards. Nine of Diamonds, King of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, King of Spades. The card could be any of those four. From here, this is where the memorization acting happens. You're going to spread out the deck and pretend to memorize the whole thing. I'll bring the deck over here to show you that. So this is the point where you tell the spectator that, look, I'm going to memorize the entire deck and you spread it out just like that. Okay. From here, you can see between our jacks, you have the nine diamonds, king of hearts, queen of diamonds, and king of spades. You're going to take 30 seconds to memorize this entire deck. This is where you need to be funny. You need to be acting. You need to be all like, oh, let me memorize. Let me focus. I'm memorizing this entire deck. Well, focusing on those four cards, because you actually do have to memorize those four cards. So you're going through, you're saying all these words, you're like, oh, queen, four, ace. You're pretending like you're actually memorizing, but in reality, bam, you're memorizing these four cards, okay? Now, you're gonna go away and ask the spectator to move their card. So in this case, their card is the Queen of Diamonds. They're gonna take it and put it right here. Keep in mind, you don't know their card is the Queen of Diamonds. You just know that the order of those four cards sandwiching the Jack. So let's say they do a good job getting it looking normal again, right? So you really have no idea. You have to come back, and I like to do it suspensefully. You're like, you know what? 
card was it in here now at this point you see obviously between the two jacks that the one queen is missing so you know is there a queen of diamonds so you can be all dramatic go like oh it's not here it's not here it's not here and work yourself to the queen of diamonds giving the appearance that you memorized the entire deck and that's pretty much it that's how you memorize the entire deck of cards now here's the thing before you go and perform this i want you to go back and watch my performance at the beginning and i want you to pick up what i'm doing to make this trick seem better in fact if i'm doing this trick for real and not for a youtube intro like i was at the beginning of this video i would actually play it out a lot longer what I mean by that is, you know, YouTube, your videos can't be too long and no one's gonna watch, so I need to make that trick go as quickly as possible. But in reality, it is not a quick trick. If I'm doing that in person for a big group of spectators, in fact, I wish I had the video of me doing this, but I am like playing it up so big. I'm like, I'm gonna attempt to memorize this entire deck. I need complete silence. Complete silence. And like freak out. Like, oh. And you start muttering words like you're about to like have a brain blast like Jimmy Neutron, like, hey, like you're trying to memorize for 30 seconds. You have someone set their phone over a timer for 30 seconds. You make it a stressful situation. You memorize those four cards that they don't really know. You think you're memorizing the whole deck. And hopefully if you're doing this trick in the middle of like a whole routine, you've built up this idea that, man, you're the freaking best, dude. You're brilliant. You're like Albert Einstein. It's incredible. What's also important to remember about this trick is you want to be as loosey-goosey with the deck as possible. Once you put that in the middle and mark it with the two key cards, Hands off. They shuffle it. You wanna make sure the person can do a riffle shuffle and a cut. And the card will at max be like between the two key cards. I wanna say at max, I've seen at like six, which sometimes in a stressful situation it is hard to memorize six cards. But I would say work on the numbers first, work on the numbers and letters, and then the suits, and you'll be fine. So that's the trick, guys. I hope you get a lot of use out of it. In my experience, this isn't like, you know, a showstopper. This isn't something you just, you know, go on America's Got Talent with, but it's always good to have this repertoire of impromptu tricks that you can do at any time, anywhere. And what's great about this is the whole storyline of, hey, this doesn't involve sleight of hand. This is all like a brain trick. This is all me being extremely smart. It really plays onto the idea that as a magician, you should be the smartest person in the room. So that's all I gotta say about it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I know that's like the thing to say on YouTube, but it, to us and to all our YouTubers, to be honest, it actually does really help our channel grow. We just hit 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> I mean, I just gotta say thanks, guys. It's, it's incredible. I wish you guys could see how much time I actually spent on this during my week, the videos, the editing, Instagram, all that stuff. And it is a lot of time, but in my mind, it's so worth it. It's so much fun. It's so great seeing this community grow. It really is something I enjoy, so thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and commenting. I'm about to head home for Thanksgiving break. See Grant, have some good times, hopefully film some cool videos together. Hope you guys have an enjoyable break, whether it's from school, college, work. Enjoy yourselves, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you next week, probably on Thursday, right? Can someone do things Thursday? All right, sounds good. I'll see you then.